Rutherford's gold foil experiment actually led him to be able to measure the diameter of an atom uh, quantitatively, and he came up with a measurement of approximately 2 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters in diameter. Uh, the problem with measuring the size of an atom is that later on, as we developed into the quantum mechanical model, we know that there's absolutely no concrete boundary of an atom. There's no distinct, defined outer edge of an atom. So we can really only approximate um, the true measurement of the size of the atom. And one way to do that is we measure an atom's atomic radius. And sometimes we refer to atomic radius as the size of the atom, atomic size. But one way that we actually measure the atomic radius is that we take <clears throat> one half the distance between the two nuclei of a homonuclear diatomic molecule. Here's the basic definition of atomic radius. So one half the distance between the nuclei of a homo, meaning the same, nuclear, so we have the same type of nucleus, um, di, meaning two, atoms that are making up the compound. So let's say, for instance, these are two hydrogen atoms. One of the ways that we measure the atom size is we go from nucleus to nucleus, measure that distance, and then take half of that value, which is the radius of a hydrogen atom. Now many times when we talk about atomic radius, I will refer to it as the atomic size, and we're going to look at um, common trends within groups, the elements that go down in a vertical column on the periodic table. And we're going to look at trends in atomic size and atomic radius as we go across a period from left to right on the periodic chart.